today we have beautiful gaming Alienware M17R4. It's a gaming laptop with 360 hertz refresh rate, beautiful screen and uh, beautiful graphics RTX 3070 Intel Core i7 10th gen. Let's take it apart, let's see what we can upgrade, fix or replace. Let's start. Start with the bottom screws. Let's take out also the screws from that rear vent. Okay, now find the gap between the case bottom and the palm rest. Right. So this is how we take out the bottom case. Here we have the part number. Now take out also these two screws for the rear cover. So now let's disconnect the battery. Yeah. So now we can take it out. So if your battery doesn't hold the charge or it's swollen, you can replace it. So that's our battery, that's our part number and the battery type. Now let's take out our storage. So if your computer doesn't boot or you would like to upgrade the storage to the bigger one, this is how you can take it out. That's the NVMe SSD drive. Now we can take out our speakers. So if the sound is bad, you can replace your speakers. And here we have the part number. Okay, so now let's take out this rear cover So that's our rear I.O. board cover. Now let's take out the heat sink and fans. So if your fan is making grinding noise or 
not working, you can replace it. Disconnect it from the motherboard and then take out the screw. Here we have the second fan connected. So in order to take out the heat sink and fans, we have to take out the whole motherboard and take out some screws on the opposite side. So let's take out all the screws. So here we have our Wi-Fi card. It's soldered on that daughter board. So if it doesn't work, you can replace this board. Okay, so that's the right I.O. board with our audio port and USB port and the network port. So if those ports don't work, you can replace this board. Here we have the part number. Now we can take out the motherboard. Okay, so here we have our daughter board with the Wi-Fi card. So let's disconnect it. Here we have the part number and here. Now let's take out the heat sink. very gentle with the heat sink this part is very fragile if you bend it it won't work anymore
processing. That's our heat sink for the GPU and the processor. Here we have the part numbers for the fan. And that's our motherboard with the processor and the uh, graphics GPU. They both soldered on the motherboard, so if they don't work, you have to replace the whole board. And here we have the part number. That's our palm rest touchpad assembly. Let's disconnect from the screen. Here we have the DC power jack. So if your laptop isn't getting the power, you can replace this DC power jack. That's our jack. That's the part number. To disconnect the screen, let's take out these screws for the hinges. Now we should be able to disconnect it, yes. So that's our screen, 360 hertz, refresh rate. Very nice picture. If you need your parts, check gutlaptopparts.com. And that's our, that's our palm rest keyboard touchpad assembly. The keyboard is held by these tiny screws, so if you would like to replace just the keyboard, then you can do that. The same with the touchpad. You can take out these screws and then replace the touchpad. But very often this part is sold in one piece. Here we have the part number. Alright, thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video.